Good day, everyone. Welcome to Jude's Talk. So this is the second video on sedimentology. And the last video, we talked about the tenary diagram, how to plot the tenary diagram. Good. So we're not just plotting. The goal is to be able to name a sandstone using the dot classification system. OK? So in the dot classification system, there are things that I mentioned in the last that very, very important. We, we name the parents by the green the grain and the matrix, okay? The grain and the matrix. Those are two things that determine the name, okay? The percentage of the grains, of the each grains, percentage of percentage of your cut, percentage of your feldspar, and percentage of your rock fragment in that particular what, sandstone. And the matrix determines the what? The parent name. It determines the parent name, okay? This one determines the what the sub name. So we're going to um, a bit of a classification. Okay. So any question you are given, okay. Now as you have to see, you look at it that I have three triangles. You can see three triangles. Okay, so let me start with the first, then move to the third one. Okay, so starting with the parent's name. In this side, we have the percentage matrix and we have the rock name. So if you are giving a question and they mention the matrix, the percentage matrix, that's what you need to first take note of. To know if you are talking about an arenite, or you're talking about a wake, or it's called a gray wake, gray wake, G-R-A-Y, W-A-C-K-E, or you call it wake stone, either wake stone or gray wake stone. Okay, so it'll tell you that a sandstone, or yes, it has a 15%, less than 15% matrix. So, for example, if you have a sandstone in the question saying that it has 13% matrix in it. So, what kind of, what is the parent name of that sandstone? It's known as what? Arenite. Arenite. A-R-E-N-I-T-E. -E. It's an arenite. Okay. So, that's called your parent name. Don't forget, anything less than 15% matrix is arenite. Okay. So what of the other rock names? We have the gray wake. When is the parent name gray wake or wake? Gray wake, or you call it wake. It's from what? From 15% to what? 75%. So I give you a question and say that what? It has a matrix of 30%. What should come to your mind there is that what? This must be a what? A gray wake stone, sandstone, okay? But anytime you see greater than what 75%, it is the parent name is what? Mud stone. It's just purely mud stone. Okay? So if matrix is so much like this, then it's 75 and it's 75% matrix, then that is what? Mud stone. Good. Okay. So you remember earlier in the first video, I mentioned that I mentioned that the things that come uh that composed of a particular sandstone, consists of the grains, the matrix, and also the cement, and also the what? The cement. The sum total of this, the sum total of all of this should also be 100%, which means if you have your grains, the percentage of the grains, the percentage of what? Your matrix, okay? and the cement percentage, okay? So what I'm saying here is the matrix determines the, what, the parent name. So if the matrix is what, 20%, is it an arenite? I know you said no, because it's what? It's a guake stone, or you call it gray guake. So a reminder, less than 15 arenite, 15 75, guake or gray guake, Greater than 75 mudstone. Good. Next. Join with me on, we're going to start with the arenite. You should see the first triangle that we have here. Okay. So this is an arenite. This is an arenite. Now, reading what I have here, say it went out of, so I'm going to focus for the sub name, you know, for the sub name. So this is like as if someone have a name, now the son name. So your parent's name, 
So you are seeing this, the, the parent name is the what? The rock name that we have here, gotten by the matrix. So your own name now is what you are going to get from what? From the greens, from the percentage of the greens, hmm? of the subgreens. So either the cut, the way the cut, the percentage of the cut rock fragment and the percentage of the felt spark. So each of all of these determines the sub name. Okay, so as you are saying, the first name is determined by the brains, but the parent name is determined by the percentage of matrix that you have. Good. So I'm going to start with arenite. So look at what I have with me here. Say, when out of 100% grain, so we have in 100% grain, that is in the grains that we have in a particular soil sample, if 95% is what's caught, so I'm talking about arenite now. Okay, so so why, why am I talking about arenite? So I'm saying that. What is the for you to know you are dealing with arenite? It must be what less than fifteen percent, less than fifteen percent. So imagine that you have read the question and you have that okay, forty percent of the matrix is forty percent. The matrix consists of what forty percent, okay? Your the matrix is forty percent. Good. Then you now remember this. Now say, when out of hundred percent grain, ninety five percent is what cut. So which means if you have grain. And inside that grain, 95% is what is caught. So just focus on this triangle. If 95% is caught, the name of that matrix will be what? So of the sandstone will be what? Caught arenite. The name of what? Caught arenite. But when caught is what? 80%. And first part is what? 11%. With 9% of what? RF. So the rock is what? sub aquatic caught. Arenite. So if the cut is between 95 and 75, I'm talking about arenite now. If the cut is between 95 and 75%, so it now depends on the percentage, the one that is higher between what? Feldspar and rock fragment. If feldspar percentage is higher than rock fragment, that means if you have something, okay, what I'm saying that in between 95 and 75%. So if I tell you that what the cut is 80 percent okay so it now depends on the percentage of what the first part if first part is higher than rock fragment it will be what sub fed partic what do i call it we'll call it what sub sub fed partic arenites Okay, subfet particle arenites. Because why? Because the cut is in between 95 and 75, as we have in this 95 and 75. If can find in this range. Okay. Now, if it is rock fragment that is higher, so you say that's what it is what? Sublytic. It is sublytic. Sublytic arenite. Sublytic arenite. Okay, that is when the cut is between what 95 and 75. Now, less than anything less than 75, if cut is less than 75, you tell you, you, you are calculating and you got that it's 75% cut. And you know that the parent name is arenite, of course. We are looking for the, the sub name. Okay, so if first part is higher than the rock, so we say it's what it is fed pathetic arenite. But if it's not higher, we say that's what. Is lithic cut arenite. So anytime that you have a question and you have been told that, you have been told that okay, this rock now, for example, we have cut, and cut is and cut is and cut is sixty percent. If cut is sixty percent, and first part is thirty. Thirty percent, and rock fragment is what 10 percent okay now you can see that first part here since cut is less than 30 percent is between this first part tetic arenite and lithic arenite so in this kind of equation you know that what since first part is higher than what rock fragment then it is what a first part tetic arenite but if not we call it what a lithic what arenite Elytic arenite. Okay. So that's all about arenite. So you just need to just remember the diagram and anything that you get from your court, you know, okay, if it's just 95% court, you don't even think about 
if Fed Fire is higher than um, Lytic, it is caught, caught iron night. But anytime you are going less than that, you have to consider if it is Fed Fire that's higher than Lytic, the unanimous sulfate particle. That's the one between 95 and 75. Okay, then less than 75, you now say that what is first part is higher than what rock fragment is face pathetic arenite or lithic arenite. Good. Next. Okay, so we're done with the arenite. Next, we are moving to the wake stone. So the wake stone, the classification, <coughs> is kind of not complex. So if you have 95% here, 95% here, that's one you call it what. Quartz wake. So if the quartz is 95 percent you know you've gotten that the view in there in this kind of question for you to focus on this second diagram, you must, you must know that what the matrix is between what 15 to 75. Good. Now, how will you know the sub name? If it is what 95 percent to 100, you just know that what it's called wake. But anything less than that, you have to depend on what. Is it the first part percentage greater than what than the lithic? Okay, so for example, if you have um, sixty percent, so we're talking about working now. If you have sixty percent quartz, so you want to know the main name. Very easy to do. Working stone are very easy to name. So you now have um, twenty five percent, twenty five percent feldspar, and fifteen percent rock fragment. So you can see that this is. In the first place lesser than 95 cents given here so what do you do you just name it what so the first part is greater, greater than what than the rock so what do you call it Fetpathetic quote it's Fetpathetic quote wake good if it is a rock fragment greater than what than the first part you name it what the lithic wake now for the mud stone that's the easiest immediately you see a question and you know that what it is greater than what the matrix is greater than what 75 percent don't bother there's not really any subname for that. Just call it what? Mud stone. Okay? So, that is a summary of our what? Our naming, as I've said earlier, naming the sandstone using what? Dot classification what? System. So, if you don't get it, just go to the back and pause the video and follow it line by line. Okay? Each of these three, this one has three layers of rules. This one has have two layers. Anything below 95. That's depend on that's for wake. That's depend on fed spa or lithic. Okay. So in next video, I'm going to do the question. I know you are waiting for that. Okay. Welcome.